great deal of attention is being paid these days to the important process of connecting new generation, like wind, solar, and energy storage, to the electric grid. And for good reason. Large investments in emissions-free resources are necessary to meet the state's climate goals. And new resources are necessary to help make up for retiring fossil-based generators. Welcome to the Grid of the Future video series. This is episode five, connecting clean energy to the grid. In this episode, we examine the policy-driven growth of clean energy projects, the critical process of studying these projects for reliability, and our work at the NISO to reform and expedite that process. But before a new generating facility connects to the grid, it has to be studied to understand whether it could impact other facilities and parts of the high voltage electric system when it begins to inject large amounts of new energy onto the grid. The electric system is designed carefully to make sure it's safe and reliable for all consumers. Knowing how a large new generating station or major manufacturing facility will alter or impact the rest of the system is a requirement by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission and a process administered by the New York Independent System Operator. The interconnection queue is where renewable energy projects and major manufacturing facilities seek approval to connect to the grid safely and reliably. As the wholesale electricity market administrator and grid operator, NISO leads the process for New York. New York has extremely ambitious clean energy goals. And the New York ISO is part of the solution in achieving those objectives. You think about the magnitude of work that we need to do and the number of resources that need to interconnect with our grid in order to make these goals a reality. The interconnection process is so critical, it's so important to ensure that we can have timely, safe, reliable interconnection, get these resources connected to the grid in a way that maintains reliability. The process requires significant coordination between utilities, developers, and state and local governments. The process was established to make sure projects can connect to the grid without harming the system or imposing undue costs on consumers. New York State is really the driver behind all of this push for new interconnections. So all the new generation that's coming through our process, the reason they're doing that is because of New York State, uh, NYSERDA, uh, the Public Service Commission and policies that they set, and the governor's office and Governor Hochul herself. Uh, they are all great partners in our interconnection process. Uh, we have worked closely with them to understand what key concerns they have, how can we best address through our process the need to get all these resources through to help achieve the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act goals and to do so in a timely fashion. Like other grid operators across the country, we're challenged by this growth in the interconnection queue. The grid was built over many decades to reliably connect sources of power to consumers and balance growth and demand with necessary supply. In addition, the complexity of new proposals is increasing and often requires specialized analysis to accurately determine reliability impacts. Interconnecting resources at the scale necessary to meet CLCPA goals requires a concerted effort by the state, utilities, developers, and the NISO. Our recent studies predict that 20 gigawatts of new renewable resources will be needed by 2030 to reach the goals of the CLCPA while maintaining electric system reliability. And to meet these challenges, the NISO is working hard to improve the interconnection process. In 2022, we implemented efficiencies to shorten the time it takes to study impacts to the grid, making it easier for projects to progress through the queue. More recently, we held numerous forums and focus groups with developers, utilities, regulators, and other stakeholders to identify necessary transparency improvements. Those enhancements are under active development. We are used to dealing with complex problems and presenting solutions. So complexity is something that is by our nature a part of, of the work that we do and the system that we manage. We need to make sure that we get the right mix of uh, resources to serve New York going forward. The interconnection process is potentially incredibly complicated and the reason for that is the reliability of the grid. 
Previously, we've looked at things like the thermal loading of transmission lines. Every line has some sag to it, and you, you have a limit only to how much sag you can have on a transmission line. It's how much you can handle from a heat standpoint, thermal limit. Uh, you have the voltage performance of the system. You have what we call dynamic stability of the system. As the machinery is all spinning, uh, does it stay in sync with each other? And now as we go forward with inverter-based technology, we have to add to that analysis. We have to think about how do these different technologies interact with each other? How do the power electronics affect one another? And as a result, what design changes do we need to make on the grid in order to allow for those to interconnect? We also recently made significant investments in our interconnection team and technology used by developers and utilities to track progress and provide deliverables on their projects. We've hired more planning engineers to perform system analysis, as well as project managers and customer service agents that help guide developers through the process steps. This combination of people, process efficiencies, and upgraded technology is essential to our continued progress. It's really important that we get this right for the sake of the reliability of all New Yorkers, uh, the reliability of their electric service, keeping the lights on. If we sped things up, which we are trying hard to do, but if we did so too much and we ended up missing something, it could have catastrophic consequences to New Yorkers in some way, shape, or form. While we work to enhance the interconnection process, it's important to understand there are other factors that can delay or ultimately determine if clean energy projects are completed. The International Energy Agency and the American Clean Power Association have reported that disruptions in the global supply chain have contributed to project delays, and many projects have also been impacted by inflation. There are a lot of other aspects that affect any given developer, any given new interconnection that are outside of our control, outside the NISO process. Nowadays, that can be things like supply chain, inflation, general economy, general demand uh, of, of these supplies. So it's not just the supply chain itself, but the immense demand nowadays. New York's not alone in trying to achieve some of these goals. You know, it's nationwide, it's worldwide. And so with those kind of impacts affecting developers, uh, also facing, depending on where you are, various siting impacts, various permitting impacts, there's all kinds of impacts that a developer has to deal with. We're mindful of those. There's a lot of hard work that needs to come together to bring forward a solution. We have the right people, the right skills, the right capability, and the right support from stakeholders to make that happen. We know how to do this. Maintaining a reliable electric system through this unprecedented grid transition is essential. We also know that delivering a cleaner, greener grid of the future is just as important for all New Yorkers. Working together, we can achieve both.